Today, scuba diving is one of the most inclusive activities, and there are actually dedicated charities that use scuba diving for extreme cases of disability, and that's because it works. So scuba diving helps you both mentally and physically, which is why they've been using it so much for rehabilitation for a whole range of different people. Arguably, the biggest benefit is the physical, because people with physical disabilities are literally freed from their physical constraints while scuba diving, but there is also the mental benefit to scuba diving too, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in today's video. So it is harder to quantify and study, but there are some serious benefits for your mental health while scuba diving, and why more people should try it out and use it as a way to improve their mental health. So let's take a look at why scuba diving is amazing for your mental health. Probably the biggest pro for diving in my book is that there are no cell phones, emails, or just anything chasing you whilst you're underwater. So all of these social obligations just melt away under the waves. Social media, which is one of the largest cues for mental illnesses and issues, especially in young people today, just doesn't matter whilst you're scuba diving. Sure, you can take some photos and videos for your Instagram, but you don't tend to get much reception out at sea, and you're usually wet anyway on a dive boat, so the phone just kind of stays in its dry bag. It is great to unplug yourself from your phone and the internet every now and then, and scuba diving pretty much guarantees that. If you pull your phone out at 20 meters, it's gonna get ruined, and whilst everyone is talking about the last dive or talking about their very best dive place to go, then you really don't really think about your phone, so it tends to stay in your dry bag. As a species, we weren't made to be constantly plugged into our phones, so getting away from it all feels great, and it takes a lot off of your mind. The new environments and group mean that you can literally switch off a lot of the nagging social constraints when you're on a dive site. If you want to wear the same pair of board shorts for the third day in a row, then you do you. It's not an excuse to just do whatever you like, but social standards are kind of reassessed when you're on a dive boat. Dive boats tend to be pretty chilled, and, and this less sort of uptight environment is better for you to be yourself in front of others. Actually, in the water, you have the freedom of going pretty much anywhere you like, and the ability to go over, under, and around obstacles, which is a great mental opportunity. Instead of seeing walls and barriers everywhere, scuba diving just shows you opportunities. It's the kind of positive reinforcement that really gives your brain a little bit of a rest. Human beings love schedules, whether you think so or not, but our bodies and minds are actually made to get into routines, and that's where they feel most comfortable. Hectic lifestyles can really screw you up, so it's nice to get back to a predictable routine. Diving has some great routines compared to other sports, and it basically takes one thing off of your mind, thinking about what to do next, because the routine is pretty much the same. The best example is a liverboard. The days go so fast because you're just repeating the same routine day after day. Wake up, dive, eat, dive, eat, sleep. That's pretty much it. On a dive, it's pretty much routine as well. Assemble and check your gear, dive in, descend, explore the dive site, check your gauges, ascend, get out. That's pretty much it. It all has a very nice flow and routine, which is great for your brain. Physical activities are great for your mental health because you're using your mind to work things out constantly, and believe it or not, working out actually makes you feel better on the inside. Sitting on the couch isn't so great for you because your brain isn't really doing what it's meant to do. Moving things around and feeling for current whilst you're diving gets your body and mind working together in synchronicity. So working out puzzles as well is great for your brain, so fixing something like a leaking regulator is getting your body and your mind working together to fix the problem. Every single second that you're actually in the water, you're actually working all of your muscles to move around and even just kind of stay still in the water. And these are all the kind of tiny little adjustments to your body is your brain kind of tweaking all those neurons that are usually dormant when you're just sat on the couch. 
Humans are social animals and our brains are hardwired to work in a group, but some people, through no fault of their own, can become isolated, which can lead to depression and further seclusion. Scuba diving is a very inclusive group, but it's not too intense. It's a great way to get involved in a group, but you can do it as slowly as you like and get involved at your own rate. Being part of a group and contributing makes you feel better and valued as a human being, literally, and this kind of draws people out of their shell. Scuba diving is both very social and very independent at the same time. On the surface, you laugh and joke to uh, sort of work to help one another kit up, but then when you're actually under the water, you spend all your time in your own head. You still interact with other people underwater, which is great for your mind trying to communicate with your hands, but you spend some quality time with the little voice inside of your head for around an hour at a time just kind of working things out. And a lot of people pay a lot of money just to do that. So how has scuba diving helped you before? Are you more social thanks to scuba diving? Do you like the excuse to just unplug and get away from the internet? Let's discuss scuba diving and your mental health in the comments below. As ever, if you enjoyed the content, then like and subscribe so we can do more and, you know, spend more time on it. Thank you for watching and, of course, safe diving. Because you're just cranking out qualified divers who've only spent a few hours in the water and it takes a while to pick up valuable skills and learn to cope with the task loading that scuba diving can present. The more time you spend with an instructor will make you a better diver. So even after you're qualified, don't rush in.